And so we're going to move into the New Testament. And we're going to we're going to do 70 lead boots through these verses here to show you Satan hasn't changed. And he's, his goal is to create a Delilah's laugh, which he has for the church to lullaby them in the, in the lap of Delilah. These worldly religions, worldly churches, and these ministers of Satan with operating on his behalf. Now before we even go in, let's go to, let's see if I'm going to write this verse down, but I'm going to go here first. I'm going to have to remember it off the cuff. I'm going to have to remember this one off the cuff, so hold on a second. And then I'm going to get into the ones I did write down. I just want to get us started. I should have. Wrote this one down. Say his tactics hasn't changed. He's still in the enticing, in the entertaining and seducing business until he gets you away from God, sever that relationship. And that's his goal. That's his end game. And get you in the hellfire with him. That's the end game of Satan. He hasn't changed the lick. And that's why we're to be sober and vigilant and be, a while, to be aware of the wiles of the devil. Because he hasn't changed the thing. He's still doing the same thing. He's got his Delilahs behind the coal pits of America. And the congregation with their heads in the lap of these seducers, these enticers. Leading people in droves, in droves to hell for us. All right, I remembered it. Second Corinthians eleven thirteen. For such a false prophet, for such a false apostles, deceitful workers transformed themselves into apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. So these are Satan's ministers, these are liars. That millions of backslidden Christians have their heads in their laps of these Delilah churches today being enticed, being entertained, being vexed. And their souls are vexed to death. Unless the light of the gospel can shine in and cause repentance. And they can turn and, and break that spell of the light and get up out of them. Get up from, get from under the roof of the light's house. All right, let's go to Colossians 2 4. So I'll set the stage for 1 Corinthians. And let's move on. Well, oh, that was 2 Corinthians, excuse me. I'll set the stage with 2 Corinthians 11 13. So let's move on to Colossians 2 4. Colossians 2 4. And 
And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Now, let's back up to verse 1, second, uh, second Colossians verse 1. For I would say that you know with a great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not yet seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together to love, and unto the riches of the full assurance of the understanding, to the knowledge, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom, and knowledge. You want to know the treasures of wisdom and knowledge truly lie? They're hidden in Christ and God the Father. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing work. You want to know where the truth lies? In this book right here. You got to get your nose into this book. And start reading from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. It's where the truth lies. The book of books, the Bible. Biblios, Biblion. Biblion, Biblion. This is where the truth lies. Most Christians don't read. That's why they're ignorant of Satan's device. That's why they're suckered for the devil. All right, let's move on. They're sucker for the light in her lap. Second Timothy 3.13. Let's go to 2 Timothy 3.13. The Lila's house, get out of it. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Let me back up one verse. A lot of you don't like this, but this is part of going to be on your cross. Verse 12, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 12. Ye and all that will live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. It's guaranteed. Shall suffer persecution. People are going to forsake you, going to believe Jesus even said that. Blessed are you when people forsake you, cut you off, call, call you out as evil, or your name out as evil for my name's sake, and put you through all kinds of hell, family, everybody. You're going to experience it. You will suffer persecution in Satan's world. It's the same world that you got in this world. You're going to suffer persecution from the religious bunch as well. It doesn't, you're going to suffer persecution from the lighter's house as well. Yea, but the godly in Christ shall suffer persecution, but evil men and seducers shall wax, shall grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. They being deceived themselves by the deceiver. Which is Satan. Satan ain't your guts. His whole goal is to get you down the hellfire with him where he can really prove to you how much he hates you. So these minions, these these willing suckers for Satan, these willing idiots for Satan, it's being played and they're being deceived. They're deceiving up by the deceiver. They're being deceived by the deceiver and deceiving up. All right, moving on. Uh, 1 John 2.26. 1 John 2.26. Get out of the light of the lap. Anything I want you to remember in this message, get out of the line of life. Whatever your 
Delilah might be using the false church, but it could be anything that's luring you away from God. You get out of her lap, or his lap. Delilah being his lap. First, First John two twenty six. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received, now pay attention to this. The anointing, the Holy Spirit is in you. Don't let the light seduce the Holy Spirit away from you like he did Samson. Read earlier. Holy Spirit left Samson. The Bible says, my spirit will not always strive with me. There's a point where God will leave. If you remain in Delilah's house too long, Delilah will find out where your secret lies and entice you, entertain you to sin against God. And I'm talking egregiously to where God forsakes you. Now, His grace, you can always start over if you haven't had the seared heart and abused it too bad to where God's totally turned you over to a strong delusion to believe a lie and be damned. If you haven't got to that point, you know, consistent rebellion and blaspheming the Holy Spirit and sitting up in the light of His house, you still be reached. But the anointing which ye have received of Him abideth. In you, and you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things. That's what I told you a relationship with God. Get in this word, put your nose in this book here. Put your nose in this and pray to God for revelation and understanding. Now, God gave some prophets, evangelists, pastors, apostles, evangelists. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to perfect the saints, to bring the word of God alive to you. But you can read this book for yourself and pray to God for revelation. You get more clarity and sharper revelation through his gift ministry. It's anointed under shepherds. Who has the answer to the chief shepherd? That's God's operation. But you can study this book and read and pray to the Holy Spirit. And you don't want that anointing to be taken away playing around in Delilah's house. Because if you do get in this book and pray and give revelation, Delilah's house will be exposed if you're sitting in the Delilah's house. And you'll see right through that false prophet behind the pulpit. Or prophet is behind the pulpit. You'll see right through him. They will be exposed. And then it's your duty to leave Delilah's house at that point. And get out of there and find if God ain't called you out to be on point himself, find a, a ministry that teaches us there the word of the Lord. That teaches out of this book right here, I'm with. But the knowing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is true, and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him, dwell in him. Let me read this last verse. And little children, abide in him. That when ye shall appear, ye shall not be, ye shall have confidence and not be ashamed. You could boldly say, I, I stayed in the word of I didn't abandon this book right here. I stayed, I kept my nose in this word. I taught from this word. What does said Brother Jay was there said the word of the Lord through the whole ministry. With many witnesses, Lord, I can say it boldly. When I confront Christ Jesus. 
I like to put my head down and say, uh, I'm sorry, I, I got off on a tangent and we got to teach you. Thus said Brother Jane. <laughs> no, I've taught thus said the word of the Lord from the get go. So you can boldly stand in God's presence and His Son's presence. And that's the end game, because we got to be judged. That's under shepherd. I'm going to be judged. If you're an under shepherd, you're going to be judged. And those false prophets, under shepherds, going to be judged too. And bound and thrown in the hill fire if they don't repent. Okay. Now, let's keep it moving. Revelations 2.20. This is Christ himself preaching. Revelations 2.20 Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel. You just easily put Delilah. Amen. Which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Seduce. To drive a wedge between God and drive the Holy Spirit away by doing that which is profound to God. Idolatry. The fornication. A church that's Interacting with with state and government, sold out to Christ. Like a lot of these 501, C3, CP3, FEMA camp, the church sold out to the state. Fornication. Committing fornication. Getting paid by the state. Keeping their mouth shut on abortion. There's a payoff. Murder of babies. That's what's going on in Delilah's house. Delilah then is working with the state. Wasn't Delilah working with the Philistines? <laughs> same thing. And it's saying, wasn't the Pharisees working with the Romans? Best believe. These uh, Bible 1C3, the Delilah's of the day, are tied to the pedal pope over there in Rome. Is working with the, the New World Disorder. Coexist, unjoin that bunch. The world with one world religious order today. It's old out Sam and Sally's behind the pulpit. The synagogue say, Pastor, Delilah's house. Get out of Delilah's house. Now let's go to, uh, we're going to end with two more verses. Romans 12 21. Well, let's go one. Well, before they go back to 1 John 2.15, we'll go back to 1 John, two more verses, and that's it. Get out of Delilah's house, whatever your delight is. It's seducing you away from God. It's enticing you away from God. It's entertaining you away from God. It's vexing your spirit to death away from God. To drive the Holy Spirit away. Get out. 1 Corinthians 2.15 Love not the world, neither anything that is in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of this world. And the world passes away in a lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of my Father abide forever. I did a whole series on love not the world. Get out of the lifeless house. That's, these worldly churches, they love the world. They're lusting after the flesh, mammon, material things. They're in league with the devil. They're joining the synagogue with Satan. Worldly churches. They, they view the cosmos of the world the way the world views. 
same business on the other side of the street. They're corporate entities. They're hustling out the temple. And Jesus would take a rope and beat the way out of them today. Drive them out just like he could overturn their money tables like he did. The Jews in the synagogue of old. No different. Money changers. Then the thieves. Delilah's house. This is Delilah's house of the day. Churches of the day. Delilah's house. Lullabying you in their lap. Seducing you, enticing you, entertaining you, preacher tame. It's called preacher tame. <laughs> Driving the wedge between you and God till your soul is vexed to death. And you're sitting as one of the zombies up in the congregation of the dead. Well, you've heard me say many times about these uh, sold out sounds that put up Sally behind the pulpit. They get these cemetery license, I call them, to the seminary. The license, cemetery license, embalming license, to embalm the dead in the, <laughs> in the congregation of the dead, of these churches of the day. Preaching dead sermons. No life. Preaching a new age gospel. Uh, preaching a spirit of the Antichrist gospel, a Jezebel whore gospel. Or religion. So now, the lion style. That's what you see. These cages of unclean birds. Temples of man. Get out of the lion style. Now, one last verse. I just read John and his view of these worldly churches. Like I said, uh, today's church has been turned upside down by the world instead of vice versa. Romans 12, 21. We're going to end here. This is to wake those up that's sitting up in the light of God. Because what's going to happen? You stay in the light of God, the same thing going to happen to you. You're going to be spiritually blind, your eyes put out. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. The Holy Spirit will leave you. You're going to be blind. Spiritually born. And you're going to die in that house. Samson died. You're playing around with gold. No life. And you're going to be spiritually dead. And if you don't wake to God's grace, and you accepting it and, and repenting, and don't bring it and come back around, you're going to die in that state and end up in hellfire. In the life of house, playing on being entertained, preacher tamed, being enticed, being the seduced by the light, which is a symbol of the world flesh and the devil, worldly religion. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, hard not your heart. So if this is you, I will repent and get and run like my pants was on fire from the life of house. All these uh, big tent preacher entertainment, circus field stadiums, bread and circus, Delilah's house. All right, Romans, uh, what did I say? 12. 12.2 Romans 12.2 And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to Delilah's house. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Brainwash yourself with God's word. Metanoia. This is the word in, in Greek. Brainwash yourself. That ye may be that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now there you have it. And I hope this wakes you up. Out of Delilah's lap. Get out, run with your pants like your pants is on fire. Get out of these Delilah's houses. False religion. Cult. And serve the living and true God of the Bible.
get in his word, put your nose in his book and pray for revelation and form a relationship with God and find a church to teach us that say at the word of the Lord. Or you can have church on the internet if you ain't going to a brick and mortar place. Be good if you can find one of your own home. You don't have to go to a, a building. You can have Bible study in homes. That's what's happening now. Since this uh, plague, this man-made pandemic has affected the land, a lot of people are having church at home. I've been having church at home. <laughs> a lot of home is a church, like a lot of monastery anyway. But Bible studies at home. I would say with two or three gathered together in my name there, I'm in the midst, that's your church right there. Two or three believers. You have, you have that's your church. You don't have to be a physical building. All right. If I'm the one that taught you, give. Go to Street Priesting. Ministry.org, get the donate button. Tithes, first fruit, alabaster box belong to the Lord, including thieves and pastors. That's been, uh, plagiarizing these messages and I give <laughs> required too by God to give what you've been taught get out of the lightless house I hope this was a bone staring message it was intended to be wake you up out of your lethargy and get you I'm back on the road of faith and off the road of the lightless house which leads to vexation and death of your soul. Good day, good evening, good night to you around the world. May you grow in faith in Christ Jesus' name.